Hey YouTube, how's it going there? Uh, today we're taking a look at the Crystal Protector for the Nintendo Switch. This is essentially a, um, a case that wraps around the actual body of the Switch, so the screen part, and then also the Joy-Cons to protect them from impact damage, scratches, anything like that. Um, I definitely would recommend that you guys watch the entire video. There is a few caveats that I will get into uh, through the course of the video. And um, yeah, I'll, I'll you know install this thing for you. We'll do an unboxing and then I'll give you my, um, my thoughts and uh, if I recommend it. Now, I did get this from Amazon. I will post a link in the description as always um, on where you can get it. And it does come in three different colors. So it comes in crystal clear, it'll come in red, and blue. I assume the uh, red and blue are going to match the uh, Joy-Con um, colors. So yeah, well, let's get right into it. So uh, this was Amazon Prime. So if you are an Amazon Prime member, it took me literally um, about two days to get it. Uh, pretty quick, easy, and painless. Again, I'm not sure on the manufacturer. I think it's A V I D E T, Avidet. I think I mean there's really no branding or anything on it, as you can see from the box. It looks very plain, um, um, nothing extravagant. But I thought the quality of it was interesting, and um, just the whole idea of it. So uh, on the back side of it you get the back the, the base plate that that's the back plate for the actual body of the switch and then here we get the two um, pieces that cover the joy cons now um, it's gonna be hard to see in the video but there's a plus sign here and a minus sign here um, so that you can't confuse where these actually which joy con they actually go on so you can see we have a plus sign here and then there's a plus sign right there so this one will go with this and the minus sign joy con and the minus sign you know uh cover so those two will go there all right so pretty easy there um now this there's just some plastic wrap we're just going to pull that off of there set that aside and uh we have our back plate there now it's cut out it has all the proper cutouts everywhere um, so we'll start with the back plate first so we're just going to basically take the back plate we're going to let it sit on the top of the 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 body of the console itself and we're just going to snap the bottom in just like that now you'll want to if it's not perfectly aligned side to side you're just going to want to line it you know push it left or right and it'll actually click into space in, into place so you'll know that it's uh you know installed properly then if you check in the back here you can see all the line the cutouts are all lined up properly and there's even a little dimple back there so that you can so it, it basically self aligns itself now this i will tell you will not fit into the um the dock so you're gonna need to remove the back here which it is actually very easy to uh remove so if you do need to switch it into dock mode literally it's that easy to pull it off slide it right into your dock you're good to go uh, the main thing is uh, you can leave the covers on for the joy cons if you if you need to and uh, with the covers on the joy cons it will fit into the dock you just need to remove the back so that's something to you know remember i don't think there's any covers that are on the market that are thin enough that will allow you to fit your um your switch with a actual protective cover on it in the dock while the cover is actually in place so um it's kind of a drawback to to all of the uh all the covers that are out in the market right now so so there we go we got the um cover installed the back plate here and uh as you can see the kickstand works you can get to the uh, cartridge uh you know slot fairly easily um, all the buttons are very well accessible headphone jack all that and you have a really big cutout here for the uh, charging port on it. So that's nice. Um, so yeah, so there's that. Even works with the kickstand. Now, because this is a little thicker, you know, it's about maybe an eighth of an inch, it does throw off the, um, the way this thing rests with the kickstand. It still works, but it's just a little bit less stable than it was before. Not a big deal. I don't think it's a deal breaker for me, uh, but it is worth noting to you guys um, for that. So 
Uh, now we have our Joy Cons. We're gonna have our we're taking our red Joy Con, the plus side one, and the plus uh, cover here. And I want to start from the top, so I'm gonna let this this thing sit on there on the top, and I'm gonna snap it in on the bottom there. Now there is um, these little tits that stick out on the bottom. Uh, right here and right here so they're little plastic pieces like a dowel that sticks out and they're going to want to sit in the where the screws go of the uh, actual joy con itself so you'll know uh, when theirs are sitting in place and you'll see one right here and right here when they're sitting inside the holes where your screws actually go where they like screwed the joy con together you'll know that it's you know installed and it's attached and you're good to go um, so that one's on now and we're gonna do the same with the other one. We're gonna put this top side on first and we're gonna snap the bottom in. And now all you need to do is you just need to press a little bit like that and like that until it actually snaps into place and you're good to go. So uh, the one thing that I spoke about in the beginning of the video, uh, one of the things that might prevent you from wanting to buy these is where the buttons are for the Joy-Cons there's they didn't add any type of you know button built into the cover or you know this protector or anything like that so you, you literally cannot press the button to pull it off so once I slide this on here it slides on okay no problem but to get these off I'm gonna need to have like a little tool or something because I literally cannot press that button in with the cover on here so now the only thing I can do is either get a tool or something to press in on this or I need to actually pull the cover off and um, you know pop the cover off to remove the the joy con so that's the biggest thing that I see with these things they're nice um, they add you know a nice arc to the bottom of the uh, joy con so that it, it feels decent in your hands now I've seen better um, you know um, molding on some of the other grips as you can see like this one here this is a joy con grip I have and um, so you can see the difference there. This one has more of a contour on the bottom, so it's gonna feel a little bit more comfortable in your hand. And um, y you know, for $10, you could, if you really wanna have some protection, mainly for the body of the uh, Switch. And I think mainly that's the reason I bought this kit, is more so for the, um, the protection to the actual body of my Switch, because there's really nothing there to protect it. Not to mention that it does strengthen the um, rigidity of the of the switch itself, so it, it's not going to want to bend as much. I know there's been reports lately of uh, people's switches that are actually starting to bend after you know so much use, and I, I can say that even mine has some um, you know a slight contour. Mainly at just the top of the switch, right up in here, it actually bends like right in this area here. So, but this will help to prevent that from happening because it wraps around the switch at the top and the bottom, and it does actually make it a little more rigid right there. So, uh, something to keep in mind. So, uh, if you're just concerned about getting a cover for the center of it, this this is a great kit. I would definitely recommend it for the ten dollars, and then possibly just use some. Uh, rubber Joy-Con um, covers like I have here. Now there's some pretty awesome um, gel, you know, covers out there. Uh, I know that there's a kit on uh, Amazon right now that has three different um, sizes of the uh, little rubbers that go over the Joy-Con itself, which was pretty cool. So you could actually, you know, get the height up a little bit. That might be something to look into. But I definitely like having this plastic cover on here. I think it makes me feel a little bit better um, and knowing that it's gonna strengthen my the, the body of the switch up a little bit more so it's not gonna be as easy for it to start to bend and you know get out of shape or whatever. Uh, again, I need to stress that you do need some sort of tool or you need to remove these to actually pull the joy cons off of the actual switch now it's not hard as you can see i'm just going to grab the bottom of the the joy con and i'm just going to push like that i'm just going to push it back and it pops right off and then i can just you know slide the joy con off but it would have been nice if they would have added like a little button that was built into these things where you just push it and you know it slides right off just like the actual normal joy cons um are 
if that would have been built into these i would easily give this a you know five out of five stars definitely highly recommend it um but it's it, but because they don't have those little buttons built into these i cannot recommend these at this point um i'd say maybe a three three and a half stars out of five um at most so there you go ten dollars for a crystal clear protector for your switch um amazon post a link in the description if you guys have any questions concerns um any ideas for any other products you'd like me to review post them down below if this video helped you out please if you could leave a thumbs up and i will see you in the next video thanks